Across the United States, the incredible seven modern wonders of America test the boundaries of engineering. Mount Rushmore is hewn directly into the mountains of South Dakota to honor the great American presidents. But is there more to this monument than meets the eye? The seven wonders of the ancient world are riddled with secrets. The largest of them all, the Great Pyramid of Giza, contains hidden passageways and concealed rooms. And Mount Rushmore is no different. Behind Abraham Lincoln's head lies a secret tunnel, extending 70 feet deep into the rock. But it hits a dead end. A 1,200-pound granite capstone seals an underground chamber at the tunnel's mouth. Inside, a titanium vault that contains a long teak casket. And carefully stacked inside, 16 super-thin enameled panels. Why are these mysterious tablets hidden inside Mount Rushmore? And why is there a tunnel that seems to lead nowhere? In Washington's Library of Congress, architectural historian Paula Reed hunts for an explanation. There are thousands of documents detailing Mount Rushmore's evolution among the personal papers of its creator, Gutson Borglum. There's a lot of correspondence dealing with Congress to get funding. A lot of the funds were matched with private funds, so there was also going out and, and beating the bushes for private donors. So funding was a problem from the beginning. The monument is initially budgeted at $250,000, but costs quickly soar to nearly a million dollars. They kept running out of money, and there would be an appropriation, and it would get spent, and then work would stop, and then there would be another appropriation. And here we have records that were kept in 1939 and 1940. Paula wants to understand why the project keeps running out of money, so she works with the collection's historian, Barbara Baer. Goodson Borglum did change his, um, his mind a good bit, and uh, things evolved. Goodson Borglum's vision of Mount Rushmore expands over time. They're searching for evidence of his most audacious and expensive plan. So these are oversized items. Original blueprints reveal detailed designs for a complex around the Finnish monument. Part of the proposal of Gutzen Borglum was to have this grand staircase that would allow visitors to, to climb all the way up behind the heads. The staircase leads to the majestically titled Hall of Records. Borglum describes a chamber hidden within the mountain that explains Mount Rushmore's purpose and houses a depository of the country's most sacred texts. It would have copies of important documents like the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and an explanation of who the heads were and why they were on that mountain. Borglum plans a grand hall, 80 by 100 feet, drilled behind the faces with an 800-foot-high granite stairway climbing up to it. At the chamber's grand entrance, a bronze eagle with wings spanning 38 feet sits above huge glass doors. Inside, bronze and glass cabinets fill the walls, showcasing national documents like the Declaration of Independence. Busts of famous Americans decorate the hall, and the nation's contributions to the world are inscribed on the walls. Gutzon Borglum wants to secure Mount Rushmore's place among history's greatest monuments, and America's legacy for any future civilization discovering it. Borglum was so attracted to these kind of ideas of colossal shrines like the pyramids. You see from the outside this very monumental structure. But if you go in the inside, there's this secret chamber that tells us the story of that time period. The records show Borglum persuades Congress to grant $50,000 for the construction of the Hall of Records. In 1938, workers start blasting the cavity for the hall out of the mountain. 
but World War II forces a halt. Congress said, we need this money for the war effort, so we're, we're done here. Don't worry about the Hall of Records. Don't worry about the grand staircase. Just get the heads done. The heads are swiftly completed, and work on the monument stops in October 1941. The Hall of Records, which had been started, is still left there in its unfinished state. There's still evidence of the moment that construction stops. Tool marks scar the sides of the passageway. In 1998, Gutzon Borglum's daughter buries 16 enameled tablets in the entrance to the chamber. This time capsule contains a history of the United States and biographies of the four presidents and Gutzon Borglum. Mount Rushmore was intended to be more than a tourist attraction. A high-tech repository to guard many of the national treasures that define the history and identity of the USA.